What's up guys? So, um, full disclosure, I tried to do a product review for the Mic Me microphone. It ended up turning into more of a rant about how I use it and why it fits my usage use case. So if you happen to be in a situation similar to me, this might be a review. If you're not in a situation to me, then this is really just me ranting about a microphone that I now love. So, um, all right, here we go. So today, I um, figured I'd go ahead and maybe do my actual initial review of the Mic Me microphone and their application. I've used this thing a ton, literally every single day since I got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like post some initial thoughts um, talking on sound quality, how it works in public, like public environments, how it works outdoors, how to get the best recording, and also like how the app functions and like what are some like best scenarios to actually use the the microphone in. So that'll be today's video. I figured there are some updates pending, like the ability to use it as a USB microphone for your computer, um, as well as I think integrations with different apps like the Filmic Pro application for shooting video. Um, because I use this thing, like by and large, just for my videos. Like I've used it to record podcasts, like intro and outro for my show. For the most part, this thing is used for my daily vlogs and if I'm doing any client work as well, like to recapture audio. So. That's today, and I will hop into it. So, the Mic Me microphone. This thing, suffice to say, can capture very good audio pretty much wherever you are. Um, I am outside right now and it's not very windy, so you can get really good audio outside. However, you will want to invest in a windscreen of some kind. I got uh, this one off of BH Photo Video, the B&H, and now the wind is, is blowing. So you can kind of hear that going into the microphone. So if you get a windscreen, and I did turn the volume down while I put that on there because that's going to be very loud. But if you grab a windscreen, you can capture really great audio pretty much anywhere that you are. So you can be outside, you can be inside. But yeah, the main thing, if you're outdoors, get a windscreen. One second, I'll be right. Let's see. There we go. To keep it short, windscreens are great because they let you record outside. You can get that studio quality audio most of the time still outside, I mean, you'll have to tweak the gain. All in all, very good performance outdoors. Did it fold down? It did, okay, that's dumb. One of the best things about having a Bluetooth microphone is that you can get really far away from the video source and still capture the audio. And with the mic me, it'll beam it straight back to your phone, sync the audio, and so right now I'm just gonna do a quick walk back, probably head back over to uh, over to that tree back over there and just see how how far I can get. So I don't see myself, you know, moving far much farther than that. Here we go. All right, just gonna start walking back. Really far away from the from the camera pretty good connection when you think about it like it's really far back because it's a Bluetooth microphone you can get really far away from the camera source and you'll still have just this great connection and I don't know you could like if I had someone else there you could probably capture a conversation uh, as well so alrighty Right, so I still haven't quite figured out this whole like a uh, top-down video shooting style, but so you know, bear with me. But when you actually purchase the Mic Me microphone, you can get it either on their website at micme.com or you can get it from B&H Photo Video. Uh, it's going to come in a box just like this one with this uh, interesting little outer shell, and then you can pull it out from inside. You have this magnetically sealed box, so pull that open. And normally the mic would be right in here, but I'm actually recording on it right now with, you know, little red lights on there. Um, when you hit record, the yeah, it does have a red light. You get a few different uh, cards, or these might be stickers. I'm not entirely sure. I've never actually used them uh, for, for anything, really. But you get these stickers, so that's kind of cool. Uh, nifty. And then you also get the instruction manual for how to use it. This is like a little bit more in-depth. includes a little more information on there for how the how the mic works. Um, but a quick 
get started guide you'll find on here. They'll want you to charge the mic me for about five hours when you first get started. And then you can also watch more tutorials over at their website, micme.com slash first steps in there. That's actually where I figured out how to update the, the software on the microphone. Neat thing about this microphone is that the features that it offers can be updated with software. So say you want to use this microphone with the Filmic app. You can't right now, but supposedly later on in a future update, they will uh, like introduce that functionality. Anyways, to the body of the mic. So this thing is actually made out of, I believe it's steel. Um, it's incredibly strong and durable. It feels very solid, like feels more premium than most things that I have used ever uh, as, as far as microphones go. Uh, it's got it's a gold plated condenser microphone with spider suspension inside of the inside of the casing. Um, the light turns blue when it's connected to your phone, turns red when you're recording, and then you can start or stop recording video or audio by pushing the top button over there. Um, it also has this these threads on the bottom, so you can attach it. Actually, you can attach this to the side of the DJI Osmo, or to like a microphone stand, or to kind of whatever you can use to attach it onto. Another cool thing about the spider suspension is I'm holding it right now, and because it is suspended in there, like you can hold it and still hear and record great audio. Um, they have a micro USB connection in the back. That's where you're going to download all your files. I do wish they used the USB C. Uh, they use micro USB. USB C is kind of better. So that's a, a little bit about the body and about the microphone. This is a review in relation to how I use the microphone and what my concerns were when looking for a microphone. So me doing mobile video, this is going to be my, like this review is going to be more my concerns when I was looking for a microphone and why I decided to go for more of a premium microphone. Cause this thing does cost a pretty penny. The reason that I had opted for this one was because I knew that it was going to be much more versatile. So first of all, I wanted a Bluetooth microphone that could beam audio straight into my phone while recording video, get good audio, but something that like, say if I wanted to record music at some point, or if I wanted to um, record more like podcasts or anything else. And you know, just whatever I might be using audio or media for, I want it to be able to be used for that. And then on their website, they advertise that if you're doing music, if you're doing podcasts, then this is the, a really good mic for you. They didn't, I don't know that they mentioned video on the website, but that's, that's my biggest thing for it is using it for video. Yeah, so I can record podcasts on the go. It's much more portable than this was my go-to microphone before. And it's just, it's a whole lot more portable than, than the Yeti microphone. Like this, the Yeti is a great microphone. It's very versatile. It's great for interviews. It's by all means, if you are if you need a microphone and you're doing podcasts or you're doing anything, I've, I've recorded music on this. The Yeti microphone is is a really great choice. The Mic Me is also a really great choice, but it costs close to almost, almost like four times, five times the cost of one of these. I would say the audio quality from the Mic Me out of the box is slightly better than the Yeti microphone, and I was a little bit surprised about that. They use really, really high premium quality like materials in the build quality of this thing. It does not feel cheap by any stretch. Um, other questions, other relevant things for a review. All right, so I am I'm not feeling very confident at my ability to do reviews. So if anybody who's watching this has any questions about the Mic Me microphone, you know, definitely leave some leave them in the comments below. I'll be, I'd be happy to answer whatever questions that there might be regarding getting audio uh, using this particular microphone, the Mic Me, or a few other ones, and just like, comp comparing and contrasting. I, I have used a couple of different ones in the past. Um, just this is by by and lar lar by and far by and far. This is my favorite one that I have used so far. Reviewing is done. This wasn't really a review, more like me talking about how this fits my needs because that's why I got it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Until the next time, um, I'm gonna keep on using this microphone to record audio in these videos. So if you have any questions, like the past 50 or so videos, I think, maybe 50, 50? Probably 50 videos or so on my channel all use this microphone for audio in different different situations. So anyways, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.